All right, in this video, we're going to talk, talk about derivatives of exponential functions. And recall an exponential function is where you have a number raised to a variable power. Um, if it's a variable power raised to a number, that's a polynomial. And the derivative formulas are going to be, you know, a good bit different. So you'll want to make sure that you do not get those two confused. So the basic case, the easiest one, um, it says if you take the derivative of e to the x, you just get back e to the x. If you take the derivative of a more generic exponential, so you have some number a, and recall that a has to be a number greater than 0. We usually don't allow it to be 1 because 1 to the x is just plain old 1. So this is only valid for a greater than 0 and not equal to 1. Just like the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, well, the derivative of a to the x is a to the x, but you also have to tack on the natural logarithm of the base, in this case, a. And that's also valid for the other case as well. Um, you could tack on a natural logarithm of e, but recall that the natural logarithm of e is just 1, so that's why they leave it off here. So an example of... Um, uh, a kind of a simple example of the second formula. If you take the derivative, say, of 3 to the x, you've got a number to a, a variable power. Well, you just get the number to the power times the natural logarithm of the number. And a little more in general, it says if you take the derivative of e kind of raised to something more complicated, it says you get e to that more complicated stuff times the derivative of that complicated stuff. Likewise, if you have a raised to some complicated stuff, the derivative of that, well, you get a to the complicated stuff times ln of a, but again, you have to multiply by the derivative of that stuff. So let's do a few examples here. So sometimes I see, you know, when they start introducing exponentials and logarithms, people want to invent new rules. You still, at this point, should know just about everything. It's still the product rule, the chain rule, and the quotient rule. It's just now you've got some new formulas potentially to remember. So, got some problems here. Suppose we start off with finding the derivative of e to the x times x squared. Well, again, I see a product here, so I'm going to have to use the product rule on it. Well, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, and then I'll leave my x squared term alone, put a plus in between. Now I'll leave the e to the x term alone, and I'll take the derivative of x squared, and I'll get 2x. And there's my derivative. I'm finished with that one. So in our next example here, we have e raised to some, again, some more complicated looking stuff. Well, the derivative formula says you get e raised to all of this stuff right back. So you'll get e raised to the x times sine of 2x. But now we have to multiply by the derivative of the of this stuff um, basically of the exponent. So I have x times sine of 2x. I'm going to have to use the product rule and the chain rule when I take the derivative on this piece. So the derivative of x is just 1. I'll leave the sine of 2x alone, put my plus in between, and now I'll leave the x alone. Recall that the derivative of sine is cosine. I'll leave the inside alone. And then by the chain rule, I have to multiply by the derivative of the inside, so I need to multiply that by a times 2. And I'm running out of room here on my paper, so I'm just going to squeeze the times 2 down here at the bottom. So obviously this should all be on the same line here. Um, and that would be the derivative. So again, you get e to the stuff times the derivative of the stuff, but I have to remember when I take the derivative of that stuff, I'm going to have to go back to my old still product rule and chain rule. So one more example here, um, one without, without e. So on this one, I'm going to have to use the chain rule. The derivative of the outside part, I'll get negative sine. I'll leave the inside part alone. So I'll get negative sine raised to the 2 pi times t. But now I have to multiply by the derivative of the inside stuff. Um, so the derivative, it's like having a to some stuff, so it says you get that stuff right back, so I'll get 2 raised to the pi times t. I have to tack on my natural logarithm of the base, which is 2, 
and then I have to remember to multiply by the derivative of the exponent and pi times t it's like having the derivative say of 3x you just get 3 well pi times t I'm just going to be left with a times pi and that will be my derivative for this problem so again it may be a couple new formulas that you have to remember but um, basically just keep using your you know just your original product rule quotient rule chain rule on these problems and you should have no no issues so um, if you have other problems you would like to see feel free to visit our website justmathtutoring.com there's a link on the left free video lessons just go there and there's a whole bunch of videos and you can find some more examples of what you need